Hollywood. Thousands of fans with tumultuous applause as world-renowned celebrities attend these brilliant occasions to pay tribute to the screen's mightiest achievement. Here is Alice Fade with Joseph M. Skink and Gregory Ratoff, Mr. and Mrs. Jean Herschel, Don Amici, Victor McLaughlin, June Lang, Mr. and Mrs. Douglas Fairbanks, the Jones family, Janet Gaynor, Henry King, Constance Bennett, Burns and Allen with Jack Haley, Andy Devine, Joan Davis, Joe Penner, Annabella, Daryl F. Zanuck, Alice Brady, Warner Baxter, Loretta Young, Tyrone Power, Alice Faye and Tony Martin. And now 20th Century Fox presents in old Chicago, Tyrone Power is seen as Diane O'Leary, Alice Fay as Belle Fawcett, Don Amici as Jack O'Leary, Alice Brady as Molly O'Leary, Andy Devine as Pickle Bixby, Brian Donlevy as Gil Warren, Phyllis Brooks as Ann Colby, and a supporting cast of thousands. You see, Ma, the fellow only makes $10 a week, and he's got a wife and a family. <laughs> $10 a week? That's just $10 more than you make. I couldn't take his money, could I, Ma? I give up. I've got one son that steals my laundry and spends his money heaven knows where, another a lawyer and wins cases and don't get paid for them. Oh, you're crazy! You're crazy! Maybe, but I was sane enough until tonight. Then I heard you sing, and something happened to me. Something swept over me that I'd never felt before or ever expect to feel again. What are you talking about? I'm in love with you, Bill. You know, it seems funny. You and Diane on one side, and me on the other, fighting each other. <laughs> well, when we were kids, we were always fighting. But I bet if any other Irish has tried to horn in, it was the O'Leary's against the world. Oh, you said it. I met Miss Fawcett. She's a fine woman. You ought to know her, Ma. Hmm. I will not. And her working in a saloon like any hussy? Oh, that's not fair, Ma. We're living in modern times. That's right. Things have changed since you were a girl. Don't forget, this is 1870. Well, times may have changed, but I haven't changed. And I don't want any daughter-in-law. That's the talk of the town and kicking her heels in the air for anyone to see. History lives again, as one of the greatest disasters of all time becomes the screen's most memorable achievement. Here truly is mighty entertainment. 22 months in the making, at a cost of over $2 million. Magnificently produced by Daryl F. Zanuck, and superbly directed by Henry King in old Chicago is destined to leave a lasting mark in the Motion Picture Hall of Fame. Look for a new studio classic on the first Wednesday of each month.